Hi, I'm Angela Soland, and we're here at RGF Environmental Group with our Executive Director of Science and Technology, Dr. James Marston. RGF conducted another study on the Package 14 unit in which air samplers were used to measure reductions in the air. Thank you, Angela. Mm -hmm. L let me explain this because the significance of this study is really monumental. Uh, we know that the virus particles, SARS-CoV-2, are carried in the air, not just in large droplets from a sneeze or cough, but they're airborne. And they can remain airborne for minutes or even hours in some cases. So to reduce the risk of airborne transmission of this virus is a high priority. It's, it's been extremely diff difficult to design an experiment that allows us to know what is happening in that air system. How do, we, how do we know what the reductions are in the air? And we've been working for several months now with uh, a lab in California, Innovative Bioanalysis, to do just that. And what we did here was we designed an experiment where we used air samplers, not, not surface samples or swabs or anything like that, but air samplers to measure what, hap what is happening in the air as the virus is introduced into, into a room uh, with the uh, package 14 in operation. What was the testing protocol? We used uh, the same large chamber that we've used in other studies. So it's eight by eight by 20 feet or 1,280 cubic feet. Uh, in this study, the virus was aerosolized into that chamber at 15 minute intervals. So it wasn't just uh, introduced once, it was introduced at multiple times in a cross-directional mode. Uh, and the idea was to simulate what would happen in a real room uh, as that virus could be introduced. And it, and, it, and it may be from a sneeze or cough, or it may just be someone just breathing it and it, and it uh, is introduced into that room environment. So we wanted to simulate as closely as possible what happens in the real world, how that virus is transmitted. What is a control and did you use one? We did use a control in the study. Uh, again, a control is uh, the natural decay that occurs uh, where the virus just uh, decreases in numbers without any treatment effect. Uh, and it's important to have a control because otherwise the uh, treatment effect is, is overstated. So we did, we did do a control in this study and as a whole separate study, and, and we did subtract the results from the control from the uh, results we got in the treatment effect. What were the test results? The, re the test results were outstanding. We observed a 99.96 reduction in the airborne virus. Uh, and it was a, a reduction that began on contact and continued over the three hour period uh, that was tested uh, in, this, in this study. What are RGF's plans for future testing? We're, of course, we're talking now about the package 14. We're going to go back and do this uh, air sampler testing on the Remy Halo, and we're going to do it on other R RGF devices uh, in the future. So, so uh, now that we know that it can be done and we know how to do it, we're going to uh, conduct more testing. Are you following up with the CDC and other health organizations? We believe that these results are so significant that we are planning to do a briefing for CDC and FDA, uh, and uh, hopefully an in-person briefing, if, if that's possible, and, and share these results. Uh, it's interesting that uh, we've learned so much about the virus, you know, over the last months, a year now, really, uh, and we know that the airborne issue is far more important than we originally believed. Uh, about 80% of the virus particles are actually so small that they're airborne. They're not in large droplets that fall immediately to the ground or onto surfaces. They're, they're, they're airborne. So an airborne intervention uh, is more important than ever. Is RGF the first to be able to test airborne SARS-CoV-2? As far as I know, this is the first study that's ever been conducted where the reductions in air were measured. Uh, I, I don't know of any competitor who's been able to do this, or even even uh, public health uh, uh, researchers. So we have uh, SARS-CoV-2 suspended in air, we have an intervention in place, and we can measure the reductions in air associated with that intervention. Mm -hmm.